Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel. Now last night we got that quick sneak peek of the brand new hero that they're going to be introducing into the game. Of course, I'm expecting multiple heroes, but today this video is going to be a discussion one where I go over some of the things I noticed and of course it's going to be a whole bunch of speculation. But we do have the Warriors Den tonight, which I will be covering. It's like at 3 a.m. in the morning for me, so I will watch that and then I'll be going to sleep. I might upload a few clips here and there if it's something really big that I want you guys to see quickly. And then of course tomorrow I'll be doing my full Warriors Den recap. But yeah, let's get into this, shall we? Because there's a fair few things to talk about now first of all we're going to be talking about the whole aesthetic of the map that we saw uh at least that the warden was fighting on and the place looked like a desert or a beach it looked like sort of like a beach fortress or a desert okay and as you can see the warden's there and there's a whole bunch of trees behind her and everything that once again means it's either a beach or it's a desert fortress or something where there's some trees and the whole place does look very sandy okay it looks like there's sand everywhere the fortress does look like it's sort of there's a sandstorm going on and there was another trailer that i saw somewhere i'm not sure if this one's legit or not but it has a warden without the helmet on walking into a sandstorm so once again could be a beach it could be a whole uh you know uh desert theme who knows but it does look very very much like it's in a desert or it's on a beach and that leads me to the two heroes i think it could be there's three but there's two main ones i think it might be and one of course is going to be a persian slash ottoman type person thing okay so first of all the guy's wielding a scimitar could also be a falchion who knows uh which one they're actually going for uh someone also said it's well, it looks like a Dao, which is a Chinese version of that sort of thing. But when it comes to the Persian thing, one, the Persians and Ottomans, I'm just going to be either say Persian or Ottoman. Don't get like, you know, too mixed up on all the nitty gritty of that. But both of those type of guys used to use those type of weapons. Okay. They used to use the whole scimitar curved blade type deal. And of course they all used to live and even do now in desert type environments where there were some trees, but for the most part, there's lots of sandstorms and sand everywhere. It's, you know, not exactly tropical. And when you look at the armor on the arm, it does look like it could be uh, the sort of style that they would use, but there is something else with that as well that I've noticed the more I've watched the video. So that's the first one that the new hero could be, either an Ottoman slash Persian type deal, and of course it would make sense with the desert theme. But the next one is a fucking pirate. Now, I can say right now, if they release a pirate, my head's going to explode and I will fucking scream. I said ages ago, we're talking way, way ago, like a year and a bit ago, I put out a video called, Will They Put In A Mercenary Faction? And in that video, I talked about how a mercenary faction would be amazing, because then they could add people from all different points in history into this thing and it would make sense okay so you don't need someone to fit in with the knights or the vikings if you have a mercenary faction you can just say that they're working for the current factions because they're getting paid now quickly we might be getting a new faction and i've heard rumor there might be a mercenary faction so if that is true and they do go with a mercenary type faction of some kind i want credit for that shit because i put out the video ages ago on that and everyone said i was fucking insane and the second thing is i also said in that video that we might get a pirate okay i reckon a pirate could work in this game fairly well and a pirate is just someone who you know lives on the sea and does that whole sort of thing okay we have pirates nowadays they're the somali pirates the guys rocking around boats with AKs. So a pirate doesn't need to fit exactly a certain era. A pirate's a pirate. They're just sea criminals. So I said in the mercenary faction video that we could get a pirate and it would be awesome. And now if you look at this video, one, Pirates use cutlasses and falchions, okay, that was something they used, and at the same time, if you look at the arm, it does sort of look more like a long coat, okay, it looks like a coat that a pirate would wear. The more I sat there and st stared at this thing, it made sense that it would be a coat, and at the same time, if you look at the hand, there's no hand guards, he's not wearing gloves or anything, so it's sort of, the coat just sort of goes here. Now, yes, you could wear armor and have the armor cut off there, but why wouldn't you wear gloves as well? Every suit of armor usually has some form of glove protection, hand protection, whereas pirates didn't give a fuck about that for that much that you used to wear just gloves to keep their hands warm but there's no glove here so so it could actually be a pirate the weapon fits the the beachy theme sand sort of thing fits and at the same time if it is a coat that fits with a pirate now it could also be a mongolian slash hun character okay now once again they used to use those type of weapons and the if it is armor okay it does sort of suit the style of armor that they would wear just judging off the small little like clip we have and what we can see so that is another option as well that could be and once again in my 
mercenary faction video, I talked about one of those as well, as well as a Chinese character I've talked about before. We could have a Chinese character because apparently people say this looks like a Dao and it looks like it might be a Chinese character, which if that's the case, once again, it would work perfectly in a mercenary faction, which I talked about before. So the possibilities we have, we have either an Ottoman slash Persian hero, we have that Chinese hero, we have that Hun slash Mongolian hero, and of course we have the pirate. Give me a fucking pirate, please, please, I want it. Just give me it. And give him a fucking offensive emote. Like, you know, the Highlander has his little thing where he taunts you and he's like emote. Put one of those in for the pirate if you do have a pirate and make it that you just drink some rum or something just for shits and giggles, please. Now, a couple of other things to note and these are just things I picked up. So first of all, if you look at when the warden turns around and whoever it is has that sword in front of their face, the warden is looking a bit up, okay? The gaze is a little bit up. It's not dead forward. It's not looking down or anything. He's sort of like, oh shit. And he's looking up, which means that the hero seems to be pretty big, a lot bigger than, say, the Warden. Now, when you look at heroes that are that big, you look at the Lawbringer, you look at the Shigoki, but the size does go in line with what I've heard some people say Ubisoft has said. I'm still trying to look for it, so if you actually have seen this, like, link it down below or tweet me it or something. But apparently, uh, Ubisoft have said somewhere that they aren't doing any more assassins. They're only doing vanguards and heavies for this, like, you know, next round of heroes, which we've all been saying for a while, that's what we need. So I wouldn't be saying, oh, that's way out there. That actually makes complete sense. And if you take the fact that, once again, the warden's turned around and this person's standing there with this big cutlass and she's looking sort of up, it would make sense that it's a heavy or something because they're usually bigger. But overall, I'm really, really excited to see what we actually get and what this hero ends up being, whether it is that, you know, Mongolian, whether it is that Ottoman, whether it is that pirate. For me personally, I think the most logical ones are going to be either the Chinese one, the pirate one, or of course, the Persian one slash Ottoman one. The Mongolians and that, I don't really think so, but then again, it could be a thing. But if I could pick which one I want, I want the fucking pirate. Now, I know some people are like, don't put a pirate in the game, or ruin everything. I don't care. Put the pirate in the game. Do it for me, please. I'll be blasting pirates to the Caribbean music all fucking night long while playing that shit. And he will be my brand new main until the goddamn Spartan gets introduced into this game. I want one of those as well. Come on, Ubisoft. But that is the end of the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I love reading and replying to all your comments down below. And feel free to check out my Discord and Twitter. There is a link down below in the description box for both of those as well. The Discord is a great way for me to talk to you guys outside the YouTube comment section. And of course, the Twitter is a great way for you guys to get a notification whenever a video is being uploaded because YouTube is a bit weird sometimes. And if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to support the channel further, feel free to check out my Patreon. There'll be a link down below in the description box and a link will pop up at the end of the video. And if you choose to donate, it is greatly appreciated. And a big shout out to my current Patreon whose names you've been seeing in the background. Just wanted to say thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot. And please share this video around. It does help me out a fuck ton. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.